All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody that wants to check out this video. Uh, this is going to be pretty basic for starters right now. Um, obviously, we've got a uh, jammed up mainsail inside of a uh, Selden roller furling mast here. It's a very nice brand new Doyle sail. It has vertical battens in it. And uh, what's happened here is we've basically had a slight user error with the roller furling drum mechanism, the continuous line roller furling drum mechanism at the bottom. And what has happened is the sail has been attempted to be rolled out uh, without using the outhaul to pull it out simply by using the continuous line furling mechanism. And what that has caused the sail to do is basically bind up inside of the mast and uh, turn into this large wad that you see behind the mast up here where my hand is. And what we're going to do is uh, fix that by re-rolling the sail up into the mast using the furling mechanism, which is what Jeff's getting ready to do back there. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of onboard audio here that y'all can listen to, and there'll be a couple of voiceovers. The right way. Yep, keep on rolling that. You're going to have to pull real hard. Yep, getting better. Keep so here real quick, you'll notice the wrinkles start to get a little bit smaller as he's rolling the sail up in there. We're gonna try to get that video off the phone and get it in here as well. There you go, getting better, perfect, making progress. See how the wrinkles are now going away. Sail's going into the mass cavity, perfect. All right, go ahead and try to roll the sail out with the outhaul now. So we're switching back over to the outhaul here and then we'll be able to roll the sail out without it bunching up in the mass in a perfect world here. Here comes the sail, rolling out the mast. So what you're going to notice here is when we get to the third batten at the top, it's going to get hung up. Notice how loose the leech of the sail is. That's because the boom height is adjusted a little bit too high here. We fixed that after this video. But it's very common for battens in roller furling mainsails to get hung up in the mast. And when that happens, you just got to roll it in and out a little bit, which is what Jeff is getting ready to do here. Roll it in and out, and you'll notice the batten pops free up at the top. And then the sail will roll itself all the way the rest of the way back out. Go more on the outhaul out now. And poof, making progress. So here you'll notice the sail is basically 90% of the way out. Pretty much anytime we run into one of these problems with a mainsail that's kind of stuck inside of the mast, when we roll it out the first time or two, it takes a little bit of extra work. Uh, in this video, you'll notice that we're actually downwind. It's not very ideal. Uh, to make these these systems work very well, you're supposed to be pointed straight into the wind. Selden actually has a, one of the better systems when it comes to rolling it in off of the wind a little bit. Uh, in this case, it was pretty light air out there. But here you'll notice we're basically out all the way. Got the outhaul pretty much adjusted out all of the way. We're going to check a thing or two on the sail. All looks nice and pretty. And then we're going to actually roll the sail in and out a few more times. And uh, shortly after that, we're actually going to do a little bit of work with the with the Genoa as well, just to make sure that it's rolling, rolling in and out real well. All righty. All right, let's go ahead and roll it back up. He's gonna ease the outhaul out here. Nothing to it. And start rolling the sail up into the Very straightforward. And what he's gonna go ahead and do is roll it back out one more time for us. Show y'all, see we got both clutches open. Sail comes right out. Except for the batten at the top, which is normal. Battens like to get hung up at the top, so that's when you gotta roll just a little. All right, so we've got the main sail relatively figured out. We're gonna come up here and check out this uh, nice new Selden Furlex unit. It's brand new and uh, in this particular mast, it has a shiv box installed below the forestay, so it doesn't require a halyard restrainer, which is what we thought one of the problems was. The luff was a little bit loose on the halyard tension, so we made a minor adjustment to that as we went forward. Uh, that said, the sail rolled in and out perfectly fine without any issues, and so we're getting ready to check that out. 
looking at it from down at the deck, it looked like there might have been a small halyard wrap up there. So we were going to check the jib higher tension once we unrolled it. And upon further inspection, we were able to 100% ascertain that it did indeed not require a uh, not require a, um, a higher restrainer. Again, same thing. We have basically dead aft wind, so this is not the most ideal scenario. You got you uncleated there. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Further rolling. No problems. No halyard wraps. No issues up top. Let's check our halyard tension here. Looking pretty good. Yep, go ahead and give it another uh, bump or two on the halyard tension if you can. Okay. I'll hold the sail for you. Got it. Mm -hmm. You have to take it all apart. Nothing's going to be easy, is it? Do, 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 do. Gonna get a little more higher tension since the sail stretched and higher to stretch a little here. One yeah, one more bump. That's probably good there. Yeah, that'll work. Definitely got it a lot closer up top. Set it back down into the clutch. Perfect. Piece of cake. And roll it up. Doing all this all by hand. The only thing we're using winches for is the higher tension. Voila, nothing to it. If you look up at the top, you'll notice that there is a halyard exit for the jib halyard that is located below the forestay. So this is not a good candidate for a halyard restrainer. It already inducts the correct angle of deflection off of the halyard swivel into the mast. Good up there. I'm good to go. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Hope this was uh, somewhat informative. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns with how the operation of your Selden Furlex system or your Selden in mass roller furling system works. Be safe on the water.